good one. We'll do exactly the same on this side. It's a little bit too short. I mean, theoretically, the nut will go in and it will hold it. But because I'm not using the inside tab, I think there is absolutely no need for it. We'll do another aluminum bracket on here as well. So we just mark it, cut it, bend it, rivet it, done deal. One on the inside and we'll be two at the bottom. So we have four on this side, two on here and we'll have one or two on this side so it should be enough to hold this so both wings are on it's a little tubby let's Check the door clearance. Weirdly, the gap is way bigger here, but then again we can... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The gap is much better here, as you can see. Honestly, I don't really care. Ooh. The lens is a little bit dirty. Yeah, honestly, don't really care. I think I'll be able to, when this attaches like that, a bit more to the bottom. But also... Ah, I see. It's not sitting 100%. So we need to trim it in there a little bit but it's okay it's okay as long as these two main positions are constant because they are the same as far as i can see they would be the same because obviously those little tabs as you can see the metal ones i left from the original wing and providing that mc engineering made the exact replicas then they should bolt into the same place so now what i want to do is i want to try and put the bumper on so we can see because obviously the brackets on the side here i want to make them sort of duplex dual uh, purpose so they hold both with the bumper and the wing and for that we need to have a bumper so we can see how it all fits just a temporarily let's close the bonnet It's tight, but it's okay. We can trim this ever so slightly. I actually quite like how it fits. Literally just needs a little bit of uh, trimming. Ta-da! It looks a little bit weird for two reasons. One, it's a wide clear. Yay! And second reason is I think M MC Engineering, when they were designing this kit, I mean, as you can see from the bumper, they did not use sport bumper and a wing to enlarge it and make it one inch bigger. They made the original one, normal size, larger. That's why this actually looks so much wider. And in fact, it's just the original one is much wider and it gives this illusion that the current ones, the new ones, are so much wider but in fact they're only one inch wider on each side which is what we want because otherwise I'm not going to be able to fit it on a, on a trailer and then you'll need more spacers, more... it's just too many problems when you go super wide I think one inch, one inch wider on each side is, is good, good enough um, I'm very happy so now, as you can see, we need to come up with some kind of system of brackets that will hold both of these together. I reckon, because of the wheel, it needs to come out quite far in. So we need to tie in one or two bolts here, one or two, and then the same quick release from here. So the bracket needs to come 
this way, like that. That way, the, the wheel is definitely not in the way and we will be able to secure it in place. So let's make a bracket. Broke it. My trust advice that I had for a number of years snapped it yesterday. Listen to Rob. Thank you, Rob. I was making a little bend those brackets. Brenda. Anyways, I'm gonna have to order a new one, but we'll use this. I think it will bend it just fine. So I cut out this shape. We need to bend it here, here. Those two little things will fold and weld on the inside. It's fairly light, it's only two mil steel will reinforce it. And I think this will hold both the bumper and the, the wings. So let's bend some shakes. I have to say, it actually works so much better than doing it with the vise. So something like this. We just now have to repeat it on the other side. There's a few sort of reinforcements. I mean, it's, uh, it's solid. Should be good and fairly lightweight, I think. And it sits like this. So we'll bolt it from here and then we have enough tub for the bumper to have the quick release. So now we need to repeat it on the other side. It should be fairly straightforward because I already have a template. Two hours later. As you can see, we are done with the all the bracketing and all the supports and everything. This bracket I'm very happy with. It may not look like a very sexy piece of engineering I mean yeah but it definitely uh, serves the purpose it holds the bumper it holds the wing and also the holds the um, the headlights so let's uh, apply a quick lick of white paint just to match everything and we are pretty much done for this part of the white body conversion um, the next step would be the rear arch is going to be way way easier done just glue it in place and it's fine no jokes aside i think we mark it where we want drill rib nuts then we're gonna trim this ever so slightly because we don't need this much then i have um piping thingy that will go on there just to seal it it will be painted the same primer, primer battleship gray and then we'll continue the graphics on it so it will look almost seamless um, but then we need to trim the arch itself but I think it would be a lot easier when this is attached then I'll be able to draw how much to trim and I think we need a centimeter or so just cut away and I am not exactly sure how how it's attached and made in, inside there is a chance that I might need to weld uh, a thin strip of metal in there just to reinforce it um, but yeah let's attach this first and uh, see what we can do I think the easiest way would be to mark the holes on the wing first I reckon the distance of 14.6 I calculated the total distance so we'll have six bolts here 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 and here and here um. let's mark let's mark where we want the holes let's do the first one Oh, 
Also, extremely useful tips if you're using rib, rib nuts, especially if they're aluminium. Apply a bit of uh, thread locking, Loctite, on the inside edge. On here. What it does, it prevents water and moisture getting into whatever whatever it's getting into and also it seals it here's one repeat another seven times and uh, we're good Okay, let's test the wing. And of course, some of the holes never line up. All right, what do we think? I think it looks all right. I guess when it's trimmed, when it's painted, it will look okay. Uh.